And good afternoon. Welcome to the Pueblo Event Center Championship Saturday, Class 2A. I'm Corey Allen Thorpe, Dave Johnson alongside Tim Anderson, making sure that we stay on our video stream as well as our broadcast here. Chasta.tv, glad you're with us this afternoon. It's the girls' third place game and two teams that thought they might be playing for a championship. Nonetheless, they're going to be playing for hardware and one of these Eagles teams will fly home with that third place trophy. And of course, Peonia, the number one seed in the tournament, beat for just the second time yesterday as they lost to a very good Lutheran team, a team that played them the same, but the height difference made a big difference. 23 turnovers in the game for the Lady Eagles, and I think they were kind of shell-shocked by the way a Lutheran came out and was able to play the same type of pressing defense, but with that height advantage, and it changed everything in the ball game. Peonia is 23-2 and two and would like a piece of the trophy. As we said, they've been there, done that before. They've won a championship a few years ago, beating Akron, finished second, and now they have a chance to take a third place trophy home. So they'll have a first, second, and possibly a third place trophy in the trophy case over on the Western Slope. Whoa, wait a minute, ECA says hang on just a second. Last year was our first trip to state and we finished second. This is our second trip to state under Bruce Beers. We would like to take the trophy home and have a third place trophy up in Colorado Springs. They're 23 and three and lost to a very good Akron team last night, 47 to 40, after they demolished Rye in the opening round of the tournament, 50 to 33. They love to press. Peonia loves to press. Folks, this is gonna be lots of lots of ants at the picnic and the ant hill is overflowing <laughs> because there will be turnovers, there yep. will be deflections, there will be all kind of craziness here with both teams loving to press. It should be a tight defensive ball game, but of course when you say that, yeah. the offenses explode. So we'll see what happens this afternoon, and we'll see how their character is and also how their emotion is. Playing for third place is playing for third place. Yes, it's a hardware thing, but you had that chance to play for a title or at least play for the gold ball yesterday. We'll see which team is resilient enough to bounce back and have that emotional high and want a piece of the pie, so to say, trophy-wise here in the state Class 2A championships. Evangelical Christian is 23-3. and Paonia is 23-2, and and their only other loss was to 4A Delta. ECA, the Eagles are in blue today with white trim, light blue around their numerals, and they will go from right to left on your video screen. Home uniform for the number one seeded Paonia team. They're in white with black lettering. Red around the numbers and black and red down the sides. Their starting lineup is Kirsten Pfeiffer, Jessica Altman, Chelsea Reed, Sierra Karsten, and Abby Campbell. Heidi Mann, Abby Dorman, Tori Mann, Sammy Bost, and Lindsay Geving. It's the spider, it's the spider webs. Again. Absolutely, it's the red spider webs this time. <laughs> exactly. The starting lineup for ECA, and the tip is controlled by the blue, and that would be the ECA Lady Eagles. And they have the basketball up top, and we'll work it around the left side of the perimeter. It'll be a tough player-to-player, man-to-man defense for Peonia. And actually a trapping uh, defense as the ball is stolen away right away from Chelsea Reed. Gets the first turnover on Evangelical Christian and Peonia gets that first steal. Each team averages 19 steals. We'll have a contest to see who gets the most steals. Right now Altman trying to dribble around traffic. Kicks it in that left corner. We played 30 seconds, neither of the team has scored. Penetrating and rejected is Pfeiffer as the senior. Why did I miss that? I, <laughs> McIntyre, I don't even have her name down for some reason. McIntyre was able to get that block, and Emily McIntyre with the block. The shot no good on the right side, and it's knocked out of bounds, last touched by Peonia. He pointed that way. Yes, he did. So it is ECA <laughs> ball. We're all at a silent standstill yeah. for if, some reason. If the morning game was any indication, I think we had 40 turnovers yeah. total in the, open, in the morning girls game. So hopefully there's not quite that many here today in this one. McIntyre is out there. She wears the number 30 and did get the start. She's a senior on the club, and this will be her last game as a high school basketball player, no matter what. 7-17 to go in the first quarter. Neither team has scored. Each team has turned it over, and now ECA has done it again against the pressure defense. Two turnovers to one. 0-0 zero to zero is our score. And Peonia will inbound it. They'll work the right side of the court this time. Take it strong to the baseline, and she lost control of the dribble, but it was tapped out of her hands, giving there to knock it away. And it'll remain Peonia basketball. Peonia with the long win on the opening day against Del North, their closest contest of the season, only a 10-point win. Their previous closest was an 11-point win against Meeker. 
Every other win was a blowout, 15 points or more. And I was telling somebody uh, working for the Canyon City newspaper that it was other games were 20 points and 30 points or more. Most of them were. As the shot taken from the corner by Reed, no good. She gets a rebound back, throws it up in lane, no. Loose on the floor, and Reed comes up with it. Now Campbell will take a jump shot from the free throw line. It's off to the right side, no good. Knocked out of bounds, and wow. it will go ECA way. Good job by Reed, crashing the offensive board. She got two of her own misses there. Oh, for their first four from the field are the Lady Eagles of Paonia. And they will press in a travel in the backcourt. Hop, skip, and a jump from Heidi Mann, the quarterback of the Lady Eagles from Colorado Springs. And they have their third turnover. Paonia has one. Still no score, and we've played a minute 15, and the ball is knocked out of bounds. It remains Paonia basketball, but now from a different spot. Just to the side. Far side of the hoop on the left side. If that made any sense to you. Jessica Allman <laughs> with the dribble. Works it way up top. Karsten mishandled it, and it's an over and back. Wow. Ey. Yikes. Egads. Uh-huh. <laughs> Not a pretty start. No, nah, it isn't. Both teams got to get the reality check that this is the third place game, and they're playing for something. Because right now, neither team is playing Feels At like their game. Yeah, feels like it's December all of a sudden. Giving three, no good. Long rebound in the right corner, pulled off by Abby Dorman. Dorman averages 14 points a game. She throws it away up top. The steal is taken the other way. And the layup and the scoop is no good, but a foul on the attempt. <laughs> on ECA. Chelsea Cole picks up the foul. That's her first. That's where I have the misnomer on my program. I had Chelsea as a different number. Free throw is up and good. That's Carson Pfeiffer with the first points of the game. Pfeiffer averages nine, three rebounds a game. She's also good with the assist and already has a couple of steals here early on. They have two steals to the Lady Eagles and the second free throw is no good. Karam's out of bounds and one to nothing. Payonia the lead. And we've played almost two minutes to the first quarter of the third place game for the girls. The boys, Resurrection, Christian Lutheran, third place coming up next. Wow. Ball in the backcourt. Nobody can contain it. And it will be off ECA, out of bounds, back to Peonia. ECA right now just can't get it across midcourt. Yeah, you talked about the pressure defense of both teams, and Peonia has really stepped up theirs right now. Four to two in the turnover category right now in favor of, uh, unfortunately, for ECA, if you're a Lady Eagles fan. Here's Reed down the baseline, off balance shot, falling backwards and banks it up and in. Chelsea Reed averaging nine, her first field goal, first field goal of the game, and Peonia leads three to nothing. Mann trying to get through a double team and almost lost the ball again, but Altman reached in and slapped her on the wrist. Well, <laughs> That'll be her first foul, first foul on the team. At the six minute mark, still three nothing, and ECA still trying to figure out this press. And now they throw up a lollipop pass and it's caught by Karsten for Peonia. Another turnover, their fifth. Wow. Three in a row on the press. Slicing her way to the basket and losing control of the ball and knocked out of bounds by Chelsea Cole. And Peonia will maintain possession underneath their hoop right side. Reed will do the inbounding. And way out top to Karsten. Sierra Karsten up there, 5'7 junior. Throws it down into the paint, intended it for Campbell and it goes loose out of bounds. Last touch by the diving and sprawling Abby Dorman. Not a pretty start for either team, to say the least. No, it is not. On the inbounds to Campbell. Puts it on the floor, throws it up from the free throw line, missed everything. Ouch. Eight-footer yeah. that went seven, maybe six. Yep. And the rebound back oh. the other way, ECA, and they throw it away at midcourt. They'll bounce it across the lane, and then Peonia throws it away. Six turnover on ECA, three now on Peonia. Back the other way come the Lady Eagles from Colorado Springs. Trying to do something. They have yet to score. 3 0, 518 mark, and an air ball free throw line jumper from McIntyre. Rebound by Karsten. And back the other way comes Peonia. Sierra way outside left, looking to get rid of it, being harassed over there. Finally does up top to Piper. Piper penetrates with a left hand dribble and is fouled on the way to the hoop. We're like we're stuck yeah. in some kind of gear. Yeah. Here comes the second five for yeah. Peonia. And that's what Coach Scott Rinks will continuously do. Five in, five out. Yeah, works well for him. 
And that timeout called by ECA. Bruce Beers is wow. trying to get it, his attention of his girls. They didn't even know it was timeout. Yeah, he's red-faced. I mean, he looked, is not happy at all. <laughs> no, Six he is not. turnovers already on wow. the Lady Eagles from Colorado Springs. Well, and we know Paonia watched the, the tape of our Chassa broadcast last night. And uh, I think they might have taken a peek at Akron and ECA in the game that followed because they're following the same script that Akron used to beat the Lady Eagles. That pressure defense that got to ECA yesterday is certainly working for Paonia right now. They have committed three turnovers. ECA is six. They have one steal to the Lady Eagles from the Springs. From the Western Slope, the Lady Eagles have three steals already. But we only have a 3 nothing lead right now for the Lady Eagles of Paonia, and that ball deflected off of the intended target, Anova Krop. And the ball goes out of bounds, off of her out of bounds. It's the seventh or the fourth turnover that is on Paonia. Man trying to get across the line, finally does the dormant. Now left side, giving spots, 18-footer, swish. First field goal of the game for ECA. Steal. And a steal in the backcourt. ECA second, back the other way, and it's stolen right back. Crop with the pick for Peonia. Peonia has it in the front court. Crop works to the right side, that's Clement. Crowd very sparse for this third place game as the pass is whipped inside, knocked around, loose ball. Coming out of there with it is Rapke, and we'll get it to Clement. She'll drive right side, throw it up on the run. Got the bucket and the foul. Oh, my. Wow. Throw me up something and get the splash surprise <laughs> and a chance to get to water the clown again at the free throw line. Wow. The bucket is good and the foul, and the foul was on. Abby Dorman. That's her first personal. Third already on ECA, and the free throw is good. It's a three-point play for Braden Clement. And it's 6-2, to two, largest lead of the early part of this game Whoa. for Peonia. Almost a travel at midcourt by Emily McIntyre. She had a smile on her face like she got away with something there. Substitution coming in in just a minute will be the other man. Here's Dorman, long three from the left corner, no good. Got her own rebound, though. And reset up the shop for ECA. Man up top right side. Giving has it in the right corner. Diving out to make the play and knock it out of bounds was a hustling Mandy Bushta. And here comes Tori Mann, the younger sister of senior, probably captain, but leader on the team, Heidi Mann, and she'll enter the game wearing the number 24 in the far side. And get it to her sister. High post now, working around the left side of the court. Dribble drive, pulled up in the lane, no off the rim. Knocked off into the right corner, and a bump foul by Giving going the other way. Seems like the, the focus and the concentration right now for ECA is just not there. They're just no. not making plays, I think. Yep. Anybody that has seen them before would say they usually make. They're just right. uh, one, maybe two steps slow. Yeah, that was silly by Giving. She just got in the way, and, and that was just a silly frustration foul right there. She's got two already. They've got five, four as a team, and the ball knocked out of bounds here in the near court, and it stays with Peonia. Anova Krop will throw it in. And I, got, I was going to say, this second five for Peonia could probably start for most other girls' basketball teams around the country, or around the state. I mean, they're pretty good, pretty good second if, five. If you're saying country, we got we well, have a conversation, uh, but yeah, I know what you're saying. Uh, you know what I mean. Uh, we're both in uh, second gear. I <laughs> yes, think. I think you're right. we got to get going here. <laughs> and Krop gets it rejected. Had the ball, tried to go up with two defenders, oh. and now bumps in. Hockey check. Colorado College did play last night, but not wow. here on the ice at Pueblo, and that was a hockey check. <laughs> she knocked her four feet in front. I just watched the replay. Wow. Croc bumped and Dorman. The foul called on uh, Crop. Crop. That'll be her first. Team second. ECA with the basketball. Man tries to break containment and does up court. Oh, Tory Mann almost walked. <laughs> Everybody on the Peonia side thought she did. None of the officials did, and we'll give you their names here in just a second. Oh, sprawling to the floor goes man. Loose ball and another turnover on ECA. They're eighth here in the first quarter. Six to two is the lead for Peonia. And it's been on this six to two mark for a long time, it seems like. Krop fakes the three, bounces it down low, intended for Rapke, it's stolen out of there by ECA. Their third steal. Ahead of the pack, Dorman, left-handed layup. Good, and a late whistle and a foul. She made the layup, 
was ready to turn the other way and the whistle blew. Yeah. So the bucket counts. And it's, wow. Should, six to four. Yeah, I was going to say it should be six four. Six to four, and at the free throw line, everybody's having a step off right now. <laughs> yes. He's dormant. Free throw is good on the three point you know, play. It really wasn't that bad in the boys' Whee! consolation final. Wake up, hello. <laughs> yeah, it really wasn't that bad. Everybody took a nap, apparently. Six to five is our score. Crop deep three. Swish a -roo. <laughs> Deep in the right corner. Anava, nothing but the bottom of the net. It's 9-5, to five. 221 to go in the first quarter. Third place game for the girls. 2A state tournament here. Pueblo Event Center in Pueblo. Down low on the paint. And a foul on Rapke, denying the ball to Emily McIntyre. Rapke will pick up her first. Team third. Here comes the original starting five for Scott Rinks, who does this on a regular basis, so get used to it. The merry-go-round starts, yeah. the merry-go-round stops, and different horses come in. Yeah, indeed. Here's Mann, way out top two. Her sister, Heidi. Heidi, baseball pass underneath to Torrey. Backdoor cut, missed the layup short. Loose wall on the floor, picked out of there. Here comes Carson Piper on the fly and the other way. Three on the right side by Altman, no good. Rebound on the weak side, though. Pulled off by Reed. Nine to five, we're under two to go in the first quarter. It's been a sloppy third place game thus far. Here's Altman to the goal. Switches hand, throws it up with the right hand, even though she's left. Missed the layup, and the rebound pulled off by ECA. That's McIntyre with another board. And against pressure, Dorman will finally get it across the line. Stop her dribble and get it over to Heidi Mann. Mann works right side to her sister. Now Heidi penetrates, kicks it in the left corner. There's Boast with a three, and it's an air ball. Picked out of the air by Campbell. Campbell, long lead. Diagonal pass left side for Reed. Reed knocks over the defender, and it will be a blocking foul. No, offensive foul is called. I seen the whistle, but I didn't know who he was going to call it on, and he whips the hand behind the head. Ted Neiman, Mike Book with the call right there, and Bart Van Gappler are your chassis officials this afternoon in the third place game. All kind of problems right yeah. now for ECA against three pressure uh -oh. in the backcourt, and they throw it away. And a quick update from uh, Loveland at the event center up there. Marino in the third place game against Simla, who surprisingly lost yesterday. And Marino is leading 14-9 to in the first quarter. So that, that would be the story of the tournament, having yeah. won 50 straight, and they lost in the semifinals to a Pawnee team that was a number five seed, if I believe right. Yeah. Bounce pass, and it's another turnover on Peonia this time. They're sixth, nine for ECA. We've had 15 turnovers, 14 points total wow. in the first quarter. Nine to five, the score. Peonia the lead by four. It's been their biggest lead, and another bad pass by Mann. It's picked up by Reed. Reed all alone by herself. Right hand layup, left side good. That's got to make coaches just cringe when they see that, a right handed layup. Left another hand, left steal. hand, another steal yes. on the backcourt. Reed again. Ball is deflected as she goes up for it. Dorman was knocking it away, but coming out of there with it is Altman. Now to Karsten, and the ball is taken away from her. Loose on the floor and a steal for ECA. Seven turnovers on Peonia, 11 on ECA. Up top is Dorman. Dorman down the right side of the lane, throws it up in traffic. No, McIntyre got a rebound and a foul on the floor, and I believe it's on Abby Campbell who reached in and Kind of kept McIntyre from going back up in the air. It should be on the floor, and that's what it'll be. Campbell's first. Six team fouls already on Peonia. One more, and they'll be shooting free throws here in the first quarter. Here's a backdoor cut. Man to the goal. Lost the ball. Stripped out of her hands, but last touch by Peonia. Boy, they got quick hands. Boy, they do. Huh. Quick, quick, quick. Both teams with quick hands. Just makes it all that more impressive what Lutheran girls did to Peonia yesterday. Yep, Dorman three, wide open, missed it. Heidi Mann, a rebound, puts it on the floor, missed it. Her sister got the rebound in the paint. It's no good. Mann got it back again, bounces it left side for Boss, who throws it up. It's an air ball. And Karsten pulls the rebound down. Wow. Four seconds to go. She's double teamed, gets it over to Campbell, and that will be it in the first quarter. I think mercifully for both teams. <laughs> and this broadcaster as well. <laughs> One quarter in the book of the third place game. It wasn't pretty to say the least, but for the Lady Eagle fans of the Western Slope, Peonia leads 11-5 over ECA. We'll come back to the Pueblo Event Center in Pueblo in a moment on Chasa.tv. 
I'm ready to switch over to Farm Bureau Auto Insurance. Great. Wait, my old insurance agent is offering me a safe driver discount if I stay. We got you down for that. And a multi-line discount. That too. You know, some insurance companies don't give you your discounts until you try to switch, whereas we give you all the discounts you qualify for automatically. Awesome. Done. Ah! Hey, hi. Your old agent? Yeah. Awkward. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. We're back, Center Court Bubble Event Center. I'm Corey Allen Ford, along with Dane Johnson and Tim Anderson. 11 to 5 in favor of Paonia. Evangelical Christian turned it over 11 times. Paonia, 7 in the quarter. Five steals in the quarter for Paonia. Four for ECA. Six fouls on one team. That would be the Lady Eagles of Paonia, and four on the other. And there's a turnover on Paonia as Braden Clement gets the start of the second quarter. It's the second five, eighth turnover now on the Lady Eagles from the Western Slope. And it'll be ECA trying to work against that diamond pressure defense. Tory Mann to Heidi, swing pass diagonal across to Dorman. Dorman down the court. McIntyre throws it up, no good. Rebound loose underneath, then a rebounding foul called, and it's on McIntyre. Frustration foul there on Emily. Missed the short layup and will get called for the personal foul going the other way. Fifth foul on ECA. Both teams are close to shooting free throws already. Here's Farnsworth on the inbounds. A steal and a travel call. So a steal on the inbounds for Evangelical Christian, their fifth steal, and then that player being Tory Mann traveled. So a turnover and a steal. And now throwing it away is Paonia. Wow. Nope, yeah. it's going to stay. Oh, no. Yeah, I guess it is. The trail official, yep, you're right. Van Gampler, pointed the other way. And uh, he asked for clarification. One of the other officials did. Chad Neiman came up and asked him, and he said, nope, we're going to go this way. Scott Rink's disagreeing with it, talking to whoever wants to listen to him <laughs> there, because neither official was looking at him. Oh, yep, and yeah, now another travel. Can't do that there. Miss 13 Boss. turnovers on ECA. Wow. Just Sammy Boss just jumped up in the air sh trying to throw it or shoot it and forgot Paonia's to do either. turned it over nine times. And another almost turnover saved by Clement from going out of bounds on the far side at midcourt. Here's a deep three in the corner. Bush to no. Long rebound crop. She has it taken away. And now jump ball, arrow possession, ECA. And on the change of possession, Lady Eagles from Colorado Springs will get it. Sarah Cole, Chelsea Cole's sister, will come into the game. Where's the number 20? 11 to 5. Paonia the lead by 6. It's been their biggest. We've not had a tie. Paonia got off to a good start, and now Dorman strong to the goal and was fouled on the way there. Well, Abby's definitely trying to take it upon herself to make things happen. She goes strong wow. to the basket. Gave her Ottawa Crop picks up the foul. That's her second. Continuation on that. That's kind of impressive. Right. 17 fouls now on Peonia. ECA will be at the free throw line the rest of the first half, and the free throw is good for Dorman. 5'7", Junior. She'll have another year with ECA. She'll be one of the catalysts next year for the club under Bruce Beers, who's in his 11th season. He's been coaching there at one level or another since 1998. Oh, and a travel to his Clement. Right in front of us, took some extra steps, <laughs> got on the bicycle, and that's not going to fly. Ten turnovers now on Paonia. Eleven, or 13 on ECA. 23 turnovers already. Reminds me of earlier, unfortunately. 11 to six. Paonia the lead by five. Mann works right side for Cole. Dorman open for a monster deep three and drains it. I think that was college right there. There is gold at the bottom of the rainbow, says Abby Dorman. <laughs> and she finds it with a swish waru three from deep on the right side. Boss will hoist it up, no good. Long rebound chased down by Sarah Cole. Remember, the CCA team hit six in a row against Los Animas in the second quarter of a tight game in the regional final and blew them out by 24 thanks to those six in a row threes. They can do it at the snap of a finger. 
Here's Heidi Mann out top, works left side. Sarah fires a three, it's off the iron, no. Sammy Boss got the rebound on the weak side and a push foul from behind on Bushta. Mandy will pick up her first, team eight. It'll be on the floor. Nope, they're gonna say she was in the act of shooting. Really? Nope, it's one oh, and one, it my bad, one it's one and one. one. Right. Okay, Yeah. I was like, whoa. <laughs> nope, eighth team foul, my bad. So Boss will go to the free throw line. She's a 5'6", junior, averaging six, and the free throw is up and good. And with the clock stopped, here they come. It's 11 to nine. Chance to get it within one right here. Payone, you got off to the lead early. Five to nothing. And ECA's been on the chase ever since. It's down to two, 6.14 to go in the second quarter. Jump shot or bank shot from the left side by Bushta is good. Nice shot. She was ahead of the fast break and got the recipient of the pass and the bucket. Average is five and hits. Other end, jumper no good from the corner by Boss. The rebound pulled off by Peonia. It's a three on one. Crop in transition, missed the layup but got creamed on the arm. I believe it was Abby Dorman who went by and tried to block it. We got all arm in the process. Abby Dorman will pick up her second personal. Sixth foul on ECA and going to the free throw line will be Krop. And the first one is up and good, no good. Hits the front of the rim and comes off. Chelsea Cole comes in, replaces Boss. Giving comes in as well, wearing the number 15, and Krop will have one more free throw. She's got three in the game and has four now as she hits the second of the two. They are now three of four at the line thus far in the game. 14 to 10, Peonia by four. Third place game for the girls between the two Lady Eagles. Here's Sarah Cole, strong to the goal, bank it off the glass and good. 14 to 12, token pressure, and the Eagles break it. Long lead to Bushta, Bushta to the baseline. Double team, lost the ball, steal for ECA. Mann comes out of there with it. Sixth steal of the game for the Lady Eagles. They average 19, likewise the other Lady Eagles. Swing it around, work it right side, deep three. It's good. Lindsay Giving hits the three. Two threes in the quarter. Maybe this is the quarter that ECA likes to hit the three as they have taken the lead for the first time at 15-14. And timeout called by Coach Scott Rinks. He's been wanting a timeout for a while when Bushta went in there and lost the ball down here on the other end. She looked like she was hurt, got up slowly, kind of traveled down here, and uh, he would been wanting to get that timeout for quite a while here. Mike Book called the timeout from over here. Bruce Beers thought he had the turnover because his team had the ball and was ready to head the other way, but the timeout called before the arrow changed. I mean, I should say the ball was thrown away and a break for Peonia. That would have been their 11th turnover. So they'll have the ball after a 30-second timeout. ECA, after that giving three, now leads at 15-14. It's their first lead of the game. Peonia's lead, lead was five to nothing to start the game. And now it's ECA up by one at 15-14, thanks to a couple of threes from Dorman and Giving. Colorado Farm Bureau Insurance, proud to present the ball games for you on Chassa.tv. They'll handle your auto, home, and life insurance needs. Real service, real people, Colorado Farm Bureau Insurance. After the timeout, basketball belongs to the Lady Eagles of Paonia. Here's a three that's partially blocked, put up by Altman, and traveling as catching that air ball rebound was Campbell. And a Peonia turnover number 11. Good defense there by ECA getting a block on it and then boxing out, and that's what led to Campbell catching it, but the box out kind of prevented her from going anywhere, and she traveled. And now they break the press. Here's Sarah Cole, and the ball stripped away from her in front of the Peonia bench, and it remains with the Lady Eagles from the Springs. Another tight game in Broomfield. What was a big lead is now just two for Marino in the second quarter against Simla in the third place game in 1A. In Loveland? In Loveland, okay. yes. Sorry. No, that's all right. I thought that's was the Budweiser. Was, who's playing seven. in Broomfield? Is that well, a 6A or a 7A yeah. game? Yes, yeah, 7. It's a 7A. <laughs> I'll make something. We have up. that in Illinois, so yeah. I'm just going to throw <laughs> that out there. <laughs> Here's Heidi Mann, <laughs> left side of penetration. Kicks it into the corner for Sarah Cole. Right side, Giving, open three. No, missed it short. Tory Mann had the rebound, chased in the corner, loose ball. A lot of hands slapping at it. Giving gets slapped in the eye. Sierra Karsten is hit in the eye. I think they bonked heads. 
Little rock em, sock em robots over there. You know, we had that, uh, you know, you did the game where we had the collision at the end of the game, and we talked with Del Norts, Lindsay uh, Mosby before the game. She didn't even have any bruises, said she was okay, and she did play today. We'll get you those scores of the other games that have finished on the consolation side of things in 1 and 3A at halftime. Giving away at the free throw line after the foul was committed by Karsten in the free throw of first of the one and one, no good. And back the other way, open for a wide open three and it's no hard off the back iron. Giving had the rebound taken away from her by Karsten but they'll call it a jump ball. Peonia will get the arrow change and they'll have the ball linked to the floor or actually underneath their own basket left side. 15-14 ECA by one. 4.13 to go, second quarter, inbounds. Campbell knocked over defender, got the open pass on the right side of the lane and bangs it home. Abby Campbell's first field goal, averaging seven. And on the seesaw we go, 16-15 Peonia. Giving up top, not a man. Whip it back left corner, Cole sets and fires, an air ball three. 19-9 is where she set up and it went 17. Completely under the net. The catch made by Carson, and she'll bring it up the other way. Now to a cutting Altman in the middle. She missed the layup attempt. Loose ball on the floor. Tori Mann has it. She slips and falls. We got ice out here? I don't know. Back the other way comes Sarah Cole. Cole does not have the numbers and now waits for her teammates, and the pass is batted away by Chelsea Reed, intended for Gaving. And Dorman will come in for Evangelical Christian. Replacing Sarah Cole, who gave them a little spark. Hit a two-pointer in that time that she was in for the last five minutes. Here's Tori Mann. 3.25 to go. Second quarter. 16-15 Peonia. Three on the lay from Gaving is good. Gaving with Gaving. another three. <laughs> That's her second of the quarter. Their third of the quarter as a team. Take that. 18-16. Three on the way. It spins in and out. No good. Wide open was Piper after everybody decided to lay off her and take somebody else. She said, I'll shoot it then. She missed it, and man is called for traveling here at midcourt. Catches the pass, but both feet were dancing in front of us. You can dance after you have the trophy. Exactly. And the turnover on ECA is their 14th. Peonia has turned it over 11 times. Wow. 18 to 16, ECA the lead by two. 2.56 to go, second quarter. Girls' third place game here at the Pueblo Event Center. Class 2A. Basketball in the hands of Jessica Altman, the 5-1 senior quarterback playing her final game. Would like to go home with some more hardware. They were state champs a couple of years ago, and before that, a second place finish. And the shot is no good. Two air balls in a row, loose ball, and then it's taken out of there by Karsten. She goes up and is bumped on the way up by Dorman. Sloppy, yep. not organized basketball right now. It seems like they're just... It seems just, like it, it should be early January. Yeah, there I mean, is no <laughs> pattern or flow to the game at all right now as Karsten will go to the free throw line. The foul was on 23. Chelsea Cole, her second. And the free throw is no good. Huh. Sierra Karsten averaging eight points, four rebounds a game, a 5'7 junior. Has one more. A lot of injured players on the bench for Peonia too, I see with knee braces on. The next one is up and good. Those must be tough practices there. Yeah, exactly. 18-17, 2.28 to go, and it's tipped out of bounds. Good hustle from the big girl, Abby Cole Campbell. 5'8", junior, tips it out of bounds. It'll stay ECA ball as they're having all kind of problems trying to get it up court. They've turned it over 14 times, most of those in the first quarter. 11 of those. Having with it, we'll get it over to Mann. Mann will break the line on the far side, finally. And with 2.17 to go, ECA with a one-point lead has the basketball. They've hit three threes here in the quarter. It's allowed them to get that one-point lead after they trailed five to nothing. Here's Dorman, the man in the corner, penetrates, had a pick set for, couldn't use it. Now to the other side of the court. Chelsea Cole has it way up high. Karsten all over her, needs to get rid of it before the five count, finally does. 
Having bounce pass, backdoor cut, Cole to the goal, bank it up and in. It wasn't pretty, but it worked. Nope. Chelsea Cole gives a three-point lead to ECA, their largest. Reed fires a three, it's no short. And Cole, Chelsea gets the rebound at the other end. Mann then trying to get out of a double team, gets it up court to Dorman. Dorman, right corner. Mann will get the return pass and the foul before the pass was made. 1-5 is the call, and that's Chelsea Reed. Just went halftime in Loveland, and Marino leads 34-29 over Simla in the girls' third-place game. Simla lost last night 50-42. to It broke a 50-game winning streak, and it knocked their chance of winning a state title undefeated for two years in a row right out the window. And, and right now they're losing of, the third-place game. Yeah, danger of losing two in a row. Imagine that. It's not happened in a while. <laughs> Free throw on the way is good for man. I'm going to break in here and tell you that Simla is actually moving up a classification next year, so this will be their last year in 1A. Wow. That'll make things very interesting. Man's free throw is up and good. And in the 3A third place game, DSST is leading Trinidad 18 to 16 at halftime. 22 17 and a steal at midcourt. Seventh of the game for ECA as they took it away from Paonia. They got their second five out there right now. That includes Crop and Farnsworth and Bushta. Man up top right now penetrates and a reach in foul bump on Bushta. Man beat her, got two steps on her, and Bushta tried to catch up and bumped her. She went by and we're in the double bonus, so Man will go back to the free throw line. Averaging 14, hit her first two from the charity strap of seconds ago. And at 107 mark of the second quarter, first one up this time is good. Wow. Three of three at the line. All and they're starting to put away. It's yeah. 23 to 17, just like that. I was going to say, what was once of all Peonia is now all of a sudden flip back over to the Eagles of ECA. Next one is up, no good. Rebound tapped out of bounds. Dorman touched it last. No, they say. Rapke touched it last. Dorman reached around and slapped it with her left arm. And Rapke must have, must have touched huh. it off of Rapke, and so ECA will maintain possession underneath their own bucket. With a six-point lead, their largest of the game. Here's Mann penetrating, and a reach-in foul called there. That's three. And Scott Rinks whips off the jacket, throws it over the top of his chair. I don't think any of the officials watched that, but he whipped off that suit jacket, and it went flying over the girls that have the knee injuries. <laughs> Incoming eagle jacket, and the free throw is good for Mann. Anava Krop picks up her third foul. And she is in foul trouble now for the Lady Eagles. 24-17 as the lead continues to increase. Free throw off the back iron. Straight down for the shooter's bunts. Five in the game for Mann. All at the free throw line here in the quarter. Here's Bush to back the other way. 25-17 ECA trying to take home a third place trophy after finishing second last year, losing out to Sanford in the championship game. Here's Clement, has the ball stolen away, and a bump foul on the steal as a loose ball. Another steal for ECA, their eighth. Clement will pick it up. And Scott Rinks again looking at the three officials. <laughs> Hands on his hips looking at the scoreboard. 44 seconds to go in the second quarter, and ECA has just started to pull away. They just started the third quarter, actually, at Moby. And DSST, the seven seed, is in the third place game in beating the four seed Trinidad, 18-16. Trinidad hadn't lost a game until yesterday. And a substitution, Kayla Gaines is into the game. First time, 5-6 junior. And the free throw up from Dorman, good. And they're just hitting free throws now and, wow, salting it away from there right now here in the second quarter. Getting it across the line and rejection by Gaines on the shot on the far side and the ball goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Peonia. Gaines getting yeah. high fives and all kind of slaps after that welcome to the game and denial of the shot by Bushta over there. Kayla Gaines, the junior, is fired up. It was 15-14, actually it was 14-12. And since then, a 13 to five run for ECA. And most of those coming at the free throw line. Krop has the basketball for Peonia. Works up top with Pfeiffer out of the first unit, helping with that second unit. Ball is stripped, 
and knocked away, and it's thrown away this time in midcourt. Evangelical Christian turns it over for the 15th time. After the Eagles shot was blocked. Seven seconds to go. Bushka with her head down, trying to dribble it. Gets it over to Piper. Piper goes up in traffic, and she's fouled. Finally, a break for Peonia, and finally a foul called against ECA is what Scott Rinks is saying. Indeed. And the Kayla Gaines this time does not get the block, but does get the arm-on-arm -arm contact, and it will send Piper to the line. She's one of two at the free throw line with their only point of the game, and the free throw up good. Two in the game for her, averaging nine. She's a sophomore. Plays on the first unit, but right now out there with that second five. 27-18, the next one is good. It's 27-19. ECA the inbounds, and they will eat it, and that will end our first half of play. To say the least, gentlemen, it wasn't pretty at all. But nonetheless, if you're an ECA fan, it's pretty because the scoreboard says you scored 21 points, 22 points in the second quarter and have a 27 to 19 lead over Peonia at halftime. Just very similar to Los Animas, they score 22 points in the quarter and they only score eight. So they do the double figure to single figure, outscoring them in the quarter and take the lead after they had trailed early in the game, five to nothing. Been a lot of turnovers, we'll get you all the numbers caught up. We'll take a break ourselves. Halftime of the third place game for the girls. Right now ECA Eagles 27. And the Bayonia Lady Eagles from the Western Slope, 19. We're coming back to the Pueblo Event Center with more of our coverage of the 2A state champion. He wasn't looking for a roommate, not even a four-legged one. But good things have a way of turning up. Wasn't long till they realized how much they relied on each other. There's power in a great relationship. That's why we take time to get to know each of our customers personally, like Henry, and chance. Those relationships are the strength of our community bank. And that's the way banking should be. Be an actor, writer, or scientist. With small class sizes and caring faculty, your great story begins here. Adams State College offers state-of-the-art classrooms and an adventure program that rocks your world. Our affordable tuition and close campus community enriches the lives of a diversity of students. Helping you, inspiring you to be your very best. Adam State College. Great stories begin here. I'm ready to switch over to Farm Bureau Auto Insurance. Great. Wait, my old insurance agent is offering me a safe driver discount if I stay. We got you down for that. And a multi-line discount. That too. You know, some insurance companies don't give you your discounts until you try to switch, whereas we give you all the discounts you qualify for automatically. Awesome. Done. Ah! Hey, hi. Your old agent? Yeah. Awkward. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. Thanks for meeting me here. No problem. You know, Farm Bureau Insurance has local agents making this kind of thing real easy. Well, your auto insurance has saved me a lot on old Becky here. That's great. And since our headquarters are local, we'll be here for old Becky for a long time. Harold, your dog swallowed the remote again. Who's that? Older Becky. Oh. Ugh. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. We're back to the Pueblo Event Center at Center Court. I'm Corey Allen Ford along with Dane Johnson and Tim Anderson. First of all, we want to apologize to Lily McIntyre and her family. Uh, you did not get an adopted daughter this week. <laughs> Lily McIntyre is the name for ECA, and I apologize for saying that it was Emily. I had her name not written in my scorebook. It was a hustle and bustle thing to get things done today, so we'll apologize there and we'll go on. 27-19 is our score right now. Evangelical Christian outscored Peonia 22 to eight in the second quarter after Peonia in an ugly start for both teams led that first quarter 11 to five but it was all ECA in that second quarter especially three pointers they hit three of them and they also hit 10 of 12 free throws and with that you can figure they dominated that second quarter and did just that 11 of 13 for free throw shooting in the first half three three pointers in the game for ECA 
and 27 points at the break. 19 points for Paonia at the break. They're 6 of 9 at the free throw line and have hit 1-3. Their leading scorer right now is 4 points for Anaba Krop. 2 in the game, or 3 in the game, that is, for Braden Clement. 2 in the game for Mandy Bushta. 2 for Abby Campbell. 1 for Sierra Karsten. 4 in the game for Chelsea Reed. Chelsea Reed, that is. And 3 in the game for Carson Pfeiffer. Jessica Altman has yet to score in the contest. They had five steals in the first half, and those were all in the first quarter. Paonia also turned the ball over 11 times. For Evangelical Christian, they had eight steals. Most of those came in the second quarter when their defense started to work against Paonia's, which was the flip-flop of what happened in the first quarter. 15 turnovers for Evangelical Christian, 11 of those in the first quarter, but only four in the second. So things did turn around after a timeout that Bruce Beers called, and he was, as guys said here, red in the face, and I think it seemed to work. They got the message in a hurry, and last year finished second. They would like to go home with that third-place trophy, and right now they lead it 27-19 over Peonia, who came into the tournament as the one seed and had lost only one game, of course, this year, and that was to a 4A team, lost yesterday, and now in jeopardy of losing two straight at the state tournament, something they haven't done in quite a while at Peonia. We'll take a break, come back with more. We'll give you the numbers of other scores going around the state and the other state tournament action in 1 and 3A and also what's going on in 4A for the boys. After this timeout, we're at Chassa TV and the Pueblo Event Center in the 2A state championships. He wasn't looking for a roommate, not even a four-legged one. But good things have a way of turning up. Wasn't long till they realized how much they relied on each other. There's power in a great relationship. That's why we take time to get to know each of our customers personally. Like Henry and Chance. Those relationships are the strength of our community bank. And that's the way banking should be. Be an actor, writer, or scientist. With small class sizes and caring faculty, your great story begins here. Adams State College offers state-of-the-art classrooms and an adventure program that rocks your world. Our affordable tuition and close campus community enriches the lives of a diversity of students. Helping you, inspiring you to be your very best. Adams State College, great stories begin here. I'm ready to switch over to Farm Bureau Auto Insurance. Great. Wait, my old insurance agent is offering me a safe driver discount if I stay. We got you down for that. And a multi-line discount. That too. You know, some insurance companies don't give you your discounts until you try to switch, whereas we give you all the discounts you qualify for automatically. Awesome. Done. Ah! Hey, hi. Your old agent? Yeah. Awkward. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. Thanks for meeting me here. No problem. You know, Farm Bureau Insurance has local agents making this kind of thing real easy. Well, your auto insurance has saved me a lot on old Becky here. That's great. And since our headquarters are local, we'll be here for old Becky for a long time. Harold, your dog swallowed the remote again. Who's that? Older Becky. Oh. Ugh. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. And back to center court, Pueblo Event Center. I'm Corey Allen Ford, Dane Johnson, and Tim Anderson alongside. Other scores going on right now at halftime here. It's 27-19 in the girls' third place game. ECA with the lead over Peonia. The other games from earlier today, the fifth place game for the boys in 3A went to Colorado Springs Christian after they came into the tournament with no losses. They lost the game and ended up winning a fifth place, 73-71 over Manuel. Wiggins was the winner here. 65-54 as they defeated Sanford in the 2A fifth place game. In the 1A fifth place game in the Battle of the Western Slope, Plateau Valley beat Norwood 50-47. In the girls' action going on earlier this morning, it was a rye with the victory here in the 2A competition, and that was 43-34. Matchbuff was a winner over Olathe in 3A up at Fort Collins, 50-47. And Gilpin County, another Western Slope team, they've had a very good tournament to have the Western Slope squads. 39-34 over Kit Carson in the 1A fifth place girls game. Right now in the third place girls game in 3A, it's Denver Science and Tech 18, Trinidad 16. And in at the half, or actually going into at halftime, it's uh, Marino wow. leading Simla. Actually, I have an update. Marino just hit a three-pointer. They now lead Simla, and Simla just took a timeout. 
44-35 early in the third quarter. I mean, they have opened up a nine-point lead. So Simla, after losing last night, is in jeopardy of losing their second straight after winning 50 games in a row over the last couple of years and trying to go undefeated for two years in a row and not happening, of course, with the loss to Pawnee last night. Paonia trying to bring home some more trophies. Last year, of course, lost to Sargent in the regional. They were first in the 2010 season when they beat Akron in the title game. They were second in 2009 when they lost to Ray. And in 2008, they lost to Rocky Ford and Holyoke in their two games at State over at Masari. So this would be the third time in four years that they would have a chance to bring home some of the hardware and put up in the trophy case over on the Western Slope. ECA, of course, has been to the state tournament only two times, last year and this year. Last year lost to Sanford in the title game, and this year, of course, are playing for third place and have the lead 27-19 here at the intermission. We're about ready to start this third quarter of play. Game brought to you in part by Colorado Farm Bureau Insurance, Adams State College, and Colorado Preps Network. Of course, get all your updated brackets and quickest results at coloradopreps.com. Tonight, the scoreboard show from 9 to 10, the wrap-up championship Saturday on the Colorado Preps Radio Network. Check your local listing for the station in your market. 27 to 19, ECA will go from left to right on your video screen, and we'll have the basketball to start. And almost a steal right off the bat by Altman. ECA able to recover. They had all kind of problems in that first quarter, and then they turned the tables in the second quarter and dominated, outscoring them 22 to 9. And a jump shot good for Abby Dorman. Dorman starts off the third quarter with a bucket. She's got 11, and it's now a 10-point lead. It matches the biggest of the game for ECA. And now it's midcourt. The ball is knocked out of bounds by Pfeiffer. She tried to catch it, turned around. It went behind her back and was not able to do the behind-the-back dribble, and the ball went off or out of bounds. 12th turnover of the game on Peonia. And the other way it comes ECA with a 10-point lead. 7.22 to go, third quarter. Heidi Mann has it, works right side of the court. Kevin Geeming is there, gets it up top. Cole penetrates, throws it off the glass, down the lane, and good. Chelsea Cole, and they're two of two to start the third quarter, and they built a 12-point lead. 31-19 ECA. After it was a 14-12 lead for Peonia, they just have been silent so far. Here's Karsten, double team, triple teamed on the baseline. Bounce it way up top. Altman launches a three air ball. Campbell saves it on the floor, loose, and Chelsea Reed will chase you down. Chelsea Reed has it, works the right side of the court for Peonia. 6.45 to go, baseball pass, left side, open three, no good. Rebound pulled off on the back side by Cole, has it stolen by Karsten, Karsten to the goal, lays it up, no. Rebound underneath, Pfeiffer goes up, and this time it goes. Wow. A lot of opportunities there. Yeah, steal by Pfeiffer. And Pfeiffer, another steal in the bucket and a foul. So maybe that's what they need. Wow, I think so. Two steals in a row. And Cole will pick up the foul and go into the free throw line. Will be Piper and a chance for a three-point play here. Just chip away. Five in the game thus far for Piper. In fact, uh, make that five in the quarter for her now. Eight in the game, and she has all the points in the quarter for Peonia, and it's 31 to 24. And she knocked that one out of bounds, too. She's really active right now. Peonia turned it up the notch here on defense on the press. Man-to-man, player-to-player pressure defense on the inbound. Dorman on the dribble, pushes it up court. By way down court, McIntyre lets her defender go by, missed it, got her own rebound, set shot. From the right side is good for Lily McIntyre. And a steal on the inbounds by Dorman and a timeout called by ECA. So ECA turned it over, got it back, and then Peonia turns it over. And ECA takes it back in that 9-33-24 with the 6-0-3 mark. Peonia has chipped into the 12-point lead, got it back under double digits with some pressure defense, and now we'll see if they can continue to do it if you're a Lady Eagle fan from the Western Slope. On the other side, ECA got a steal themselves. And Indeed. They had eight in the first half. They averaged 19 a game, likewise Peonia. That steal was the ninth of the game for the Lady Eagles from the Springs. Update from Moby. DSST still leads Trinidad, but only by three now. And that's early in the fourth quarter. On the inbounds, Cole 
Way, way out top the man. Man harassed by Reed. Finally puts it on the floor with a dribble to Dorman. Whip it across the left side. Now to Cole. Giving in the left baseline. Bounces it high post. McIntyre had it for a second. Now to Man. Man down the middle of the lane. Goes up in traffic. Got hit as she went up. I believe Jessica Altman was underneath her. Yep. And she gets the personal foul. That'll be her second. Team first here in the second half. And it'll send the 5'7'' senior, Heidi Mann, playing in her final high school game today. Wanting to take home some hardware. Something to remember her senior year by. Free throw is up and good. She's got all of her points from the free throw line. Seven Absolutely. in the game. Seven of eight at the free throw line for Mann. 35-24, 11 point lead for ECA. Resurrection, Christian and Lutheran on the boys' side coming up in the third place game after this. Karsten goes strong to the hole, left side, puts it up with the right hand, threw up the air ball, but she put up that air ball because she was hit on the arm. You know, Corey, Kevin picks it up. You got it written down here, Corey, and I wanted to note, for those of you, we got the 1A, 2A, and 3A stuff going on right now, but a big matchup tonight if you're around anywhere and can get up to Boulder tonight, it's the 4A boys championship game, Lewis Palmer and Sierra. Ought to be a doozy. That it ought to be with the two future Colorado Buffs for years to come for Tad Boyle as Karsten sinks the first. Yeah, I don't remember. Tim and I were talking. I'm not sure which player that was from Sierra who was committed to the Buffs. I didn't remember. You would ask that, and I'm I'm, sorry. my mind has gone blank, <laughs> but he's an outstanding player. Let me tell you, he's a big, tall kid, and he's a dominator on the inside. And him and Josh Scott will help a lot. 35-26, to 26, missed layup at the other end. Loose ball on the floor. Dorman with Karsten on top of her. Jump ball is called. Dorman hit the floor hard, face first, holding her head, and the ball will go pay on your way. Nine-point lead, five and a half to go in the third. Peonia against player-to-player -player pressure defense. Reed on the inbounds, has it knocked away by Mann, and it'll be Peonia ball. When neither team is confident against no. their pressure defense. No, they Trying are to bring it up against the press. A lot of hesitation from both players on both sides, just catching the ball, and then facing up one-on-one -on -one with whoever's guarding them. Well, Whoa, behind the back on the dribble wow. for Pfeiffer. She's able to break containment on the press. Get it into the front court. Karsten for college three. Nope, decides to penetrate. Gets it off to Campbell, slicing down the right side of the lane, and she lays it in. Nice give and go there. Abby Campbell puts it in, and Mann is fouled on the pressure defense, trying to get it up court on the press. Yeah, both teams are very good with the press, and both and the other teams know it, and they're a little hesitant today. Two fouls on each team. That is on uh, Piper, her first, second on the team. ECA with the ball after the Campbell made basket, made it 35-28, down to a seven-point lead. Here's Dorman. Long three is up all over the iron and down. That was Geving. Geving with another three. Lindsay's hit three in the game, two in the third or second quarter, and now one here. Wow. She has three of their four. And that was all shooters touch as it hit the back side of the rim, spun around, and went down. Sammy Boss will come in. Also, Tory Mann will come in, replacing McIntyre and Chelsea Cole. That puts it back to a 10-point game. Yep, from 7 to 10, just like that. Wesley Gordon. Wesley Sierra. Gordon. Wesley Gordon. Yes, 6'7". Okay. Yes. Wow. There Jun you go. That'll outstanding help. player. Him and Josh oh, Scott. And oh. The catch was made in the front court by Altman, and then she took her feet with the basketball and dribbled into the back court, trying to get to the left side of the court. I, don't, I bet you wouldn't see that no. ever again. No. No. Very rare turnover for Altman, the junior. Or senior, that is. 5-1 senior. you got to be kicking herself on that yeah. one. Four and a half to go. 38-28. And the ball is taken away from Heidi Mann. No foul called as she hits the floor hard on her back. Finally gets up and back the other way comes Peonia. Here's Pfeiffer in transition and runs into foul. a ECA player on the floor. And I believe it was Sammy Bost. It is Bost. Her first. Oh, check that. Oh, wow. Geming will get the foul. Four for her. I didn't realize she had four fouls. Fourth personal foul. She's their three-point shooter extraordinaire so far with three in the game, 11 points. And she will have to find some pine time right now. 38-28. 
on the inbounds. The second five in there for Peony at that break. Here's Bushta. Tries to go back door and threw it away. Bad pass. 15 turnover on Peonia. Dorman the steal. Back the other way comes Cole. In transition is man. Tried to save it. Does as Krop comes out of there with it. For Peonia back the other way. Turnover on ECA. They're 17th. Four minute mark of the third quarter. Girls third place game and a pick set illegally by Tyler Rapke. Yeah. Tried to get a pick set for Piper and was moving when she set it. Good call by Mike Book right on top of it. Second foul on Rapke. Back the other way comes Mann in transition. Throws up the bounce pass left side down the baseline was Dorman. And she got the catch, tried to go up, and got creamed. Pfeiffer picks up her second in a matter of seconds. Fourth team foul, and going to the free throw line will be dormant. In 1A, Marino had opened up a 12-point lead at one point. Simla clawing, clawing back here late in the third quarter. They now trail only by seven. Now make it five as they get a steal and a bucket. So that 3A game, they're not, or that 1A game, they're not going away, Simla. Second free throw no good after Dorman hit the first. She has 12 in the game. And it's 39 to 28, back to an 11 point lead. Here's Krop going to the baseline, right side strong, goes down hard to the ground. Bumped into a defender and I believe it was Sarah Cole over there that was trying to defend her. 5'9", senior commits the foul. Her first, fourth team foul, each team now with four. Krop's free throw is up and good. She now has five in the game, two or three from the charity strap. She hit a triple in the first quarter. Where is the number three and three on her back appropriately? And the next one is up and good. She's got six. 39 to 30. Back to a single digit lead for ECA. It's been down to seven here. After they led 27-18 at halftime. Dorman has it stripped from behind. Bushter gets the steal. She and then right back, back the other way. Yeah. It was stolen by Dorman. And then the foul on 44, Farnsworth. So every time they get a steal, yeah. <laughs> ECA says, I'll do you one better. And so they've got 10 steals so far in the game, eight in the game for Peonia. Three left side is an air ball by Cole. And out of bounds it goes, ECA turnover number 19. Peonia will enter in the game, their senior leader, Jessica Altman. Well, some, one thing I mentioned earlier, you know, this is kind of late in the tournament. you got to figure their legs, some of these girls' legs aren't quite the way they were earlier in the tournament, and that's why some of these short shots are, are happening. And still that uh, trying to get used to the court, and oh, my, yeah. Crop got wow. plowed over by Cole. Crop stopped on the dime, and Cole was running full speed and went through her like a freight train. I think Cole was motioning to the bench saying, hey, don't take me out, I'm fine. <laughs> And the senior wants to stay out there, commits her second foul, fifth on the team. Here's Altman, crossover dribble, and carried, carried it. it. Yep, carried it right on her hip. Put it into her pocket. <laughs> and the call by Mike Book out here, the trail official, 17th turnover on Peonia. 3.05 to go, third place game for the girls, 39 to 30. ECA by nine. On the inbounds to Mann. Mann double teamed in the backcourt, trying to get away from pressure. Here's a left-handed pass, knocked away. Altman got it to Cole, though. Got a hand on it, did Altman. Now Mann finally gets it across the line to Dorman. Elbow jumper, right side, all over the iron and down. Abby Dorman with five in the quarter, 14 in the game. Hits her average, it's 41 to 30. Back the other way comes Rapke. To Krop, fires a deep three. It's off the back iron, no. Rebound loose underneath, saved by ECA. Cole, the outlet to Bost. Leading by 11, the Lady Eagles from the Springs, and the ball loose on the floor. Jump ball called. As the convergence sandwich was between Altman and Krop, it knocked Boss to the floor, but a jump ball was called, and here comes the starting five out for, well, second five out and starting five in for Peonia. Well, it was a 12-point lead, now just one for Marino early in the fourth. 41 to 30, two and a half to go here in the third place game in Pueblo. 2A girls, third place contest. Tory Mann has it up top. Looking to get rid of it to somebody. Does to Dorman. Dorman in between two is sandwiched and bumped and fouled. Again, she goes to the floor. Didn't appreciate being held, helped up either, I don't think. <laughs> Altman will pick up her third as 
She was part of that sandwich here on the right wing. Sixth foul on Peonia here in the second half, all, of course, in this third quarter. 219 left. Free throw Dorman is on the iron and down. Seven times she's been there, and she's hit six, having a huge quarter. Free throw all over the air and good. Seven in the quarter, 16 in the game, averaging 14 a contest. Her biggest output of the tournament, and Tory Mann knocks the pass away right into Tim Anderson. He gets a touch of the game ball. Hey. Where's the music? <laughs> 43 to 30, 212 to go, third quarter. Peonia. Possibly looking at going down for the second time in two days. They hadn't lost since December till yesterday. Nice. And there's a scoop layup by Piper right down the middle. She's having a big third quarter herself. Nice floater. She's got seven in the quarter, 10 in the game. 43-32, 11 point lead. Man trying to work against pressure defense, gets it up to Bost. Bost, right corner for Cole. The senior bounces it out to fellow senior, junior that is Bost, now swinging around the perimeter to Tory Mann. 138 to go. Campbell all over her. Mann, shake and bake move, off the glass and in. The freshman. The freshman, Tory Mann. Or sophomore, that is, oh, Tory man, Sorry. Taking Campbell to school. Reverse pivot spin on the baseline. Yalza. <laughs> Basket good and the foul. Campbell's second. Free throw is up by man and no. It's hard off the iron. Sarah Cole taps it out of bounds. He'll go pay on his way. And in Loveland, the 3A girls, third place game is tied. Or the 1A third place game is tied up at 50 apiece. Simla and Marino. Kayla Gaines into the ball game for the blue and white. Lady Eagles from the Springs. 45-32, ball kicked into the front court as it's knocked away from Karsten. No call, they'll give it a turnover. You see the other way, Boss jump shot in the baseline, no. Loose ball underneath, picked out of there by Reed. Here comes Reed on the fly into the front court. Bumps into defender, knocks her down, missed the shot. Two coming up, they say Dorman was moving. Yeah. And a block is called on Abby. She's been on the floor more times than I've yeah. seen a broom here at the <laughs> event center. That's her third Between foul. games. Yeah. Third foul on Dorman. Free throw is up and good for Reed. More importantly, that's the seventh team foul. Or no, only the sixth on my mistake. Six seven. fouls on ECA, seven on Peonia. Peonia. Dorman will check out. Man Cole out there along with Bost and the other man as well. Free throw is good for Reed. She hits both. She has six in the game. Average is nine. She had two field goals in the first quarter and now here in the third. 45-34. Peonia staying around. It's 11. Here comes the inbounds against pressure defense. Reed trying to get in front of Mann. Trying to force her to dribble it away. Mann will get rid of it to her sister. Now Cole, open three left wing, launches it no, way off the back iron. Here's Karsten. Sierra up court, pass right side, Piper to the goal, baseline pop, good. Boy. Karsten Piper happened wow. a big third quarter. She's got nine in the quarter, four field goals and a free throw. 12 in the game, and stuff <laughs> rejection at the other end by Abby Campbell. Wow. Boss went right into her arms. Here's Reed to the goal, lay it up and good. Here comes Peonia. Indeed. 45-38. Scott Rinks jumping up and down on his side, trying to get his girls to play pressure defense. Mann gets it across. Now to Heidi. Heidi down the left side of the lane, throws up the layup. No, but a reach-in foul on Peonias. Heidi Mann went to the goal. 43, and that'll be Abby Campbell. That'll be her third personal, eighth team foul on Peonia. As they add to their steal category with a couple there to get them a couple of buckets and a free throw good by Heidi Mann. Mann has not hit a field goal. All of her points are free throws. None less their points. Eight from the line today. Exactly. Eight for nine. Free throw by the senior is up. Swish. Nine in the game, four in the quarter. 47-38, 21 seconds to go third quarter. Altman against pressure defense, breaks the press, now left side. Reed back to Karsten. 
14 seconds to go in the quarter. Here's Karsten, penetrates, give and go to Campbell. Campbell goes up and is bumped and fouled by Tory Mann. Mann got the ball, but also yep. bumped her as she went by. And two shots coming for Abby Campbell. Again, that give and go worked pretty well. Karsten drew the defenders, and Campbell went right to the, to the bucket. To the bucket hard, and that's one thing about Abby Campbell that I noticed. She goes to the bucket hard every time after she gets rid of a pass or sets a pick, and the free throw is good for Abby. She's got three in the quarter, five in the game, and it's 47-39. 9.9 to go in the third here at the event center in Pueblo. And the next one is up. No, it rims out. Rebound loose underneath, picked up by Gaines. Here's Mann. Baseball's it across. Outlet, long pass, Tory Mann ahead. Karsten oh. smacked her in the face, trying to go for the ball. Wow. No shaving here on the court. And that was not a close shave. That was no. a hard shave. That was not well, a I close. mean, she reached no across doubt about it. <laughs> and tried to make sure that she had no shot at the opportunity at all. Man will shoot the free throw, missed the last time, and free throw all over the iron and down. Started on the left side of the iron, hit the glass, and bounced back right through the middle. And she has three in the quarter, all three of hers in the game, and she missed the second one, hard off the back iron. Rebound by Karsten, 48 to 39, will not get a shot off before the end of the third quarter. So nibbling away and trying to cut into this lead. Got it down to seven, but it's still at nine. 48 39, Evangelical Christian trying to take home the third place trophy after taking second last year here in the 2A state tournament. We'll come back for the final eight minutes from the Pueblo Event Center on Chassa.tv in a moment. I'm ready to switch over to Farm Bureau Auto Insurance. Great. Wait, my old insurance agent is offering me a safe driver discount if I stay. We got you down for that. And a multi-line discount. That too. You know, some insurance companies don't give you your discounts until you try to switch, whereas we give you all the discounts you qualify for automatically. Awesome. Done. Ah! Hey, hi. Your old agent? Yeah. Awkward. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. Coming back. And we're back, center court, Pueblo event center, third place game for the girls. In the first half, we couldn't tell what team wanted to no. do what. No. We found out a little more about these teams here in the third quarter. Evangelical Christian holding a nine point lead at 48 to 39. Still anybody's game, really, yep. the way both of these teams play. Peonia picked yeah. up their defensive pressure in the third quarter. It led to four more steals. And it led to four turnovers for Evangelical Christian, who has 19 in the game, 18 for Paonia in that category. And the Lady Eagles from the Western Slope have the basketball, down nine. Here's Pfeiffer, snaking her way in, throws up the scoop shot, the scoop for the hoop for Pfeiffer. She had a big the third quarter with nine points. She now has 14 in the game. Wow, that big, big game by the sophomore. 48 to 41, she's carrying this team right now. Wants to help these seniors go home with a piece of the hardware at state. Here's Mann, a dipsy do shot, no good. She threw it up with the right hand and under and over a defender on the left side. The ball loose on the floor. Bushta has it. Up court, right side for Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer and Peonia to the goal, right side. Kicks it out to the crop. Three, no. Rebound tracked down in the corner. Bushta had it and it goes out of bounds. The grittiness. Yeah, the gritty, I tell you. If there is such a beast of word, <laughs> look it up on Wikipedia. Is that verticality? Yes, yes. exactly. 48-41, seven-point lead. ACA basketball works the other way, and Bushta almost has a steal. Nice hustle. She almost goes into the bleachers behind the basket as well. <laughs> exactly. It remains ECA ball underneath their hoop right side. They've yet to score in the quarter. 16 is the leading point getter for ECA right now, that belongs to Abby Dorman. Most of those came in that last quarter. Now the inbounds, Tory Mann catches, and as we said earlier, she's dancing. 20 a turnover on ECA. Right back to Peonia. Their second five is out there, and here's the push for Crump. Anima up top to Rapke. Puts it on the floor. Gets it over to Piper, who's having a huge game, and she's just staying out there. Every time they rotate, she stays out there. Crossover dribble down the lane, puts up the running one-hander, no good. Rebound pulled off underneath by Emily Mann. 
Man long lead to Gaines. Gaines two on two. Throws a bad pass. Loose underneath. Rapke gets the steal. Back the other way comes Peonia. Here's Bushta. Double dribbled. No call. Stopped their dribble. Missed the shot. It was blocked. Loose ball thrown up. No good. Pfeiffer gets the weak side. Rebound goes up and is crushed and will go to the free throw line. I think Heidi Mann got her from behind. First we missed the double dribble here. Yeah. On the stop by Bushta. Exactly. <laughs> she got away with that. And then... The shot underneath, and like we said earlier, and we've been saying, Piper is everywhere. Wow. Yeah, that rebounding, <laughs> penetrating, staying in the game. She don't even she don't even go out when the no. other team brings her in. That used to be the five on five, and now it's a five for four it's as Piper hits the free throw. Three in the quarter, fifteen in the game now. Just a five four sophomore. She's going to be leading this team for the next two years, and the future looks bright with her at the point guard spot. Absolutely, averaging nine six above that right now. Another one coming for 48 to 42. It's a six point lead. Chance to make it five. It's not been five since early in the second quarter and missed the free throw off to the right. In McIntyre, Lily McIntyre, the rebound for ECA. Long pass to Cole. Cole bounces it across the lane and that quickness and hustle of Paonia to get back. Averts the easy layup for Tory Mann on the cross lane pass. Our first final in 3A as DSST wins 37-32 to take third place over Trinidad. So Trinidad comes to state undefeated and loses twice, and there's a free throw. Back-to-back -back days, something they don't want to remember, and the foul called on Bushta Something man tried to penetrate. Simla could face the same thing if they don't come back and, and finish this off against Marino. And it's tied right now at 57. Now make Simla in the lead, I think, for about the first time. Double bonus, rest of the way out for ECA, they had 11 free throws. At halftime, they were 11 of 13. They had 11 alone in the third quarter. And this young lady right here, Heidi Mann, had most of those, it seemed like. She was 4 of 4 in that quarter. She wow. hasn't missed since early in the second. I don't know what Seven of her last seven, and the next one is on the way good. Wow. What are percentages from the free throw line, but it's got to be high. She's got 11 points. She's 10 of 11 in the game. Steal. Makes the steal on the inbounds, does Mann. Something she does quite well as well, averaging seven of those a game. Here's Dorman with a three straight on, and she's clobbered. Crop knocked her to the ground, and Dorman will shoot three. That's either going to be four or five on Anova. Anova's sure fourth. And three shots from the free throw line for Abby Dorman, who was also at that line four times in the third quarter. And they got it down to five, or six that is, and now back up to eight, and a chance to pull it back to ten for ECA. So Peonio, Peonio, that is, keeps knocking at the door of scoring opportunity, but it keeps getting slammed in their face. Yeah. Unfortunately for the Lady Eagle fans from the Western Slope. Anytime they make a little bit of a run, ECA comes right back and makes their own little run and keeps it just out of reach, still an eight-point game. Free throw up and good for Dorman. She's been there nine times today and has missed once. Eight of nine at the line, 17 points in the game. Free throw is up off the front iron, no, and she has one more. She's fouled on the three-point opportunity. Here comes back the regular starters. Pfeiffer will stay out there. Yep. Campbell, Karsten, Altman, Reed, all back out there for the white, black, and red of the Lady Eagles of Peonia. 23-2 coming into this game, and the free throw is good. Abby Dorman hits two of the three. She's got 18 in the game. Nine of those from the free field line. 52-42, six-minute mark of our third-place girls game here in Event Center in Pueblo. Here's Altman, stutter step, move, down low, got it rejected from behind, got in among the trees, and the trees rejected her. Yeah. ECA with a loose ball, and back the other way they come. Here's Cole. Throw it away. Altman the steal. Back the other way comes Altman. She'll wait for a trailer. There's Pfeiffer in the lane. Missed the shot short. Haven't seen her do that much no. today as I.D. Mann gets the rebound. Outlet to Tori, her sister in transition. Left-handed layup is good. Tori Mann, second field goal of the game. She's got five. At the other end, Reed to the goal. Missed it and fouled by Tori Mann. You can make a basket at one end, but you better get Gotta ready get to play defense yep. at the other end because Peonia will get their track shoes on and they will race down the floor. Karsten is holding her right shoulder bent over in the free throw lane yeah. area. Might have pulled it out. 
She is really in some pain right now. Don't know what happened. I did not see an exchange and read at the free throw line. It's good. Yeah, she's not not feeling well. There's something wrong, and Giving the coach comes doesn't in. notice it, I don't think. So, Giving comes in here. It's six, eight, nine points now for Reed. Perfect three of three up the line. The next one is up and through. She's got 10 in the game, averaging nine, one above that right now, and it's a 10-point game, 54-44. Tori Mann works in the middle of the floor with the ball. Oh, wow. And a whole world of trouble and finally gets it across the dormant. Just before the 10-second count. Bad pass, knocked away to Reed, but lucky bounce to McIntyre. If you're a Lady Eagle fan from the Springs, missed the layup. Rebound pulled off on the other side for the blue and white. Here's Dorman. Stops her dribble, harassed by Pfeiffer. Lily McIntyre with it way out on the right wing. Bounce pass, back door to Tory Mann, down the lane, outstretched arms, missed the layup. Off the front of the rim, and then oh, nice job of getting throwing back. it away was Campbell. Heidi Mann got back and got that steal again. Jump shot from the left side, no good. Rebound loose on the floor, mad scramble, and we have a jump ball. Boy, Piper came over the top and hit Dorman right in the back of the head. No foul called. Could have been a foul. One of the officials talking with, uh, that's Van Gappler, talking with Mike Book, and a timeout on the floor called by ECA. Adams State College, working adults can earn their bachelor's degree without interrupting that home or work life. You can study online with Adams State Distance Learning. Convenient programs in more than 20 areas of study. For more information, you can visit the Adams State College website, www.adams.edu, www.adams.edu. You said earlier Denver Science Tech won the first of the third place games on the girls' side of things. 37-32 over the Trinidad Lady Miners who had come into the tournament undefeated. And they bow out with two losses in two days. It's the only unfortunate thing about what happens here in the state tournament when you get in that third place game. Excuse me. Yeah. Somebody's going to lose for a second time in two days. Simola still leading Marino, or now leading Marino, 60-57 to in the fourth. Game's yeah. coming up at 4 o'clock on the boys' side. Third place in 1A is High Plains and Walsh after their loss to Calici. High Plains lost to Sierra Grande, and that ought to be a championship of championships. Two yeah. high-paced, high up-and-down-the-floor teams that love to score in 1A tonight with Sierra Grande and Calici trying for their fourth straight title. Here's the inbounds, the man off the timeout, banks it up and in from the left side. Thank you, sister. It's got to be their biggest lead of the game, isn't it? 12 points? Yep, it is their biggest lead. 56-44, 4.15 to go. Long three by Campbell, who's probably not used to taking that three and no. throws an air ball up there. Misses everything, and it goes out of bounds, and the ball back to ECA. It's now one-point game in Loveland, 60-59. to 59. Marino's cut it to one, but it's very late in that game. I'm not sure how late. Ball tapped out of bounds. Reed all over Heidi Mann trying to bring it up court. 20 turnovers now on Peony in the game. 20 on ECA as well. The uh, Lady Eagles from the Springs have the inbounds. Sister to sister here on the inbounds. Man down low to McIntyre. Puts it up and in. And pulling away and smelling that trophy. Right now is ECA. Here's Pfeiffer back the other way. She continues to play hard. Missed the shot. Campbell the rebound. Right back to Pfeiffer. She's double teamed. Will get it off right side. Reed launches a three. It hits the back of the glass and the rebound for Dorman. And Altman reaches in and fouls her. Dorman was ready to throw an elbow, it looked yep, like. She was. She held back. She had to make that decision. And asked the good man upstairs, I'm not <laughs> going to do this. <laughs> She'd be in a world of hurt, yes. not just today, but come Monday. Yes. 58-44, 3.46 to go. And at the other end, Dorman will shoot free throws on the fourth foul by Altman. Please forgive me for that thought. As Dorman at the free throw line, it's up off the iron and good. She has lived at the charity stripe today. Did she make Her the shot? Heidi Mann. They counted the sh I'm sorry. Marino hit a three-pointer at the buzzer. And they've tied the game with Simla. Man hits the second one here, and it's 60 to 44. She has 20 in the game. Here's the shot by Altman and uses the glass and bangs it in. Her first field goal of the night in the fourth quarter. The senior averaging nine and a steal here now by Peonia. ECA turnover number 21. Back the other way comes Pfeiffer. 
Piper to the goal. In traffic on the baseline, wow. got tackled Jeez. by Dorman, who was on the ground rolling. Piper tripped over her, and the foul call. Abby Dorman will pick up her fourth. Team now, both teams with 10. Free throws the rest of the way for both squads. And Piper back to the line. She's got three in the quarter, 15 in the game. 12 in the second half. Free throw good. She has dialed up the intensity level here in the second half on the offensive side as well. Sammy Bost will come in. Dorman comes out to a standing O from the blue and white on the far side behind Coach Bruce Beers. There were 10 seconds left in that 1A game and then a turnover by Simla, so... Free throw off the front of the iron and down for Pfeiffer. 60 to 48, 323 to go here in the third place game. 12 point lead for ECA. Yeving with the basketball being guarded tightly by Altman and Altman will pick up the charge, or I should say the foul and that will be her fifth and she will foul out of her final game. Wow. As a Paonia Lady Eagle and a standing ovation yeah. from the Paonia fans as Jessica Altman will foul out with just two points. She got those a few minutes ago in her final game. Scott Rinks will have some emotions as yes. Altman looking for a place to sit on the bench and kind of pacing and doesn't want to sit. Having that feeling and knowing that she's not going to play another high school basketball game as Lindsey Gebbing misses the first free throw. And unless there's a huge comeback by Paonia, we won't have overtime here. But the 1A will have overtime as Marino makes a three-pointer with about 15 seconds to go to tie the game. And they're going to overtime in Loveland as Simla and Marino play an extra. 61 to 48 free throw by Gebbing. It was good. The second one, she ends up with 12 in the game. Abby Dorman will come in and replace senior Lily McIntyre. She'll get a standing O and a clap of the hands and smack of the hands from her teammates as she goes to the bench. Resurrection Christian and Lutheran for the 3A or 2A boys third place game coming up next. Here's Mann, 61-48, largest lead of the night for ECA. Tori Mann trying to break free, the five count was on, and now she starts dribbling away from Abby Coleman. Trying to get rid of it, does the man. 252 to go. Right now, ECA content to play catch and keep away. Here's Mann to the baseline. Mann underneath, kicks it way out to Sammy Boss. Boss the junior. And a reach in foul. Nope, Reed didn't get it called as Mann goes to the goal. It's stolen away by Campbell. Campbell tried to dribble to the head, now throws it away to Tory Mann. 22nd turnover on ECA, 21st on Payonia. Payonia has a lot more steals in the second half here. Now 8 13 in the game. And Mann strong to the goal, missed the shot, got it partially blocked, loose ball stolen. Kevin throws up a reverse layup, no. <laughs> and the rebound for Peonia. 61 to 48, Reed open for three, no. It's off the back iron, rebound loose underneath, a bunch of hands and bodies were colliding. And Tori Mann will pick up the foul. And unfortunately, Peonia, the Lady Eagles, just running out of time now. It's two minutes to go. and. They're just expending so much energy trying to get back into this game. Third foul on Torrey. Abby Coleman, Campbell, that is, will go to the free throw line. Rapke, a sophomore. Farnsworth, a senior, will check in here at the next break. Here comes Alexandra Farnsworth. Carson Pfeiffer back into the game. Reed will take a seat, or that's Karsten will take a seat, the junior. This team from Paonia will be loaded again next year. A few underclassmen, and the way they shuffle in and out players as Campbell hits the second free throw. Missed the first, hits the second, or hits both of them, I'm sorry. It's 61 to 50. She has seven in the game. Man up top, guarded by Krop. Heidi Mann, the senior. 145 away from taking a third place trophy home after a second place trophy last year. Two years, two years to state and both years trophy takers for ECA. 61.50 a minute, 33 to go for the Lady Eagles from the Springs. Dorman up top, Abby gets it up to man. Heidi with a left hand dribble, cropped with the grab of the arm. 
And as you said, unfortunately for one of these teams, somebody has to go home losing two in a row. And unfortunately, that's going to be Peonia, but they have nothing to hang their heads about. They played a great tournament. Six points in the game for Krop. That'll be her fifth foul. She fouls out. The second lady eagle to foul out. Man will go to the free throw line for the Lady Eagles. Crop of 5'5 junior, she'll return next year. That she will. And this will be another good team as Man's free throw is short. And there's two, we're in the double bonus, so she'll have one more. <laughs> it's only her second miss of the day. She had her first nine points from the line, or actually her first 11, and then finally got a field goal. She has 13 in the game. And the next one is no good as well. She might be getting a little tired. Yes. Taylor Polson into the game for Peonia, number 34, and a blown whistle and a foul. As Peonia going strong to the goal, and I believe it's on uh, Heidi Mann, second personal. You know, uh, strikingly similar, these two uh, Peonia Eagles roster as opposed to the Rye Thunderbolt roster that I did the Constellation Championship, they only had two seniors on their roster, and so does Peonia, Jessica Altman and Alexandra Farnsworth. So both of them loaded for bear. Pfeiffer will come back to the free throw line and hit. She's had a huge game, huge second half. Three at halftime, 12 at the end of three quarters. 18 right now at this point with one more free throw coming. Wow. 15 point second half for Carson Pfeiffer in the free throw off to the right, no good. Rebound volleyball around. Tory Mann had it, goes to the floor, and a travel is called. So an ECA turnover to the 23rd of the game. Chelsea Reed, a junior, comes in for Peonia. Chelsea Cook, Cole that is, comes in for ECA. Also in is Lily McIntyre, the senior. Inbounds to Campbell, missed the jot from the free throw line. Ball goes out of bounds. It stays with the Lady Eagles from Peonia. Down 61-51 with 109 to go. Nisi fans are already anticipating a third place trophy. Here's Farnsworth, the senior, jumper all over the iron, no good. Rebound pulled off by ECA. McIntyre, the other senior for ECA, this is, pulls it down, it's stolen away. Pfeiffer goes to the goal, she gets it blocked. Loose ball, sloppy ball right now, and yeah. back the other way comes Heidi Mann and ECA. 52 seconds to go. Mann double teamed, reach in, nope, timeout call. Mike Book got the timeout call from Bruce Beers. It doesn't matter what he says. You can give me a 30, you can give me a full, I don't care. It's Boss will come in. Tory Mann comes in. Bushta will come at this break for Peonia. 49.6 to go, and it's 61-51. Our championship coverage and our tournament coverage has been brought to you in part by Adams State College, Colorado Farm Bureau Insurance, and Colorado Preps Network. Tonight, the scoreboard show from 9 to 10 on the Colorado Preps Radio Network. Check your local listing for the station in your vicinity. All the recaps and updated scores, plus recaps of the championship Saturday events going around the state, will be all had tonight with Kevin Schaefer from 9 to 10 on the Colorado Preps Radio Network. Resurrection Christian and Lutheran, teams that you think would have played each other based on their names and based on their locations in the Denver area, have not this year. And they'll play for third here coming up next in 48 seconds and in about 10 minutes after that. Playing keep away right now is ECA and Pfeiffer will get the foul, grabbing Lindsey Gebbing. Campbell will go into the ball game as will Karsten at the next break. Once the first free throw is shot, and it's up and all over the iron and down. Lindsay in double figures as well in this game. She has 13, two in this quarter. McIntyre still out there. For ECA, I thought that she just, they said she just came out, but that's not the case. Free throw no good. Get McIntyre got the rebound, tied up by Campbell. And Gebbing will have it on the far side. Lost the ball out of bounds. It'll go Peña's way. 24 turnover on ECA. Here comes Chelsea Cole into the game. 
62-51, ECA second last year after losing to Sanford in the championship, will be third this year in 37.4 seconds. Paonia with two losses in two days after coming in as the number one seed. Here's Pfeiffer kicking it off. Karsten fires a deep three. It's all over the iron, no good. Rebound taken away by Bushta. She'll launch a three from the deep left corner. It's an air ball. Campbell had the rebound, lost it out of bounds back to ECA. Here comes Farnsworth and Rapke. Farnsworth, the senior out there. ECA substituting as well. Tory Mann back into the game. Looks like with 25 seconds in overtime up in Loveland. Marina leads 69-67 over Simla and at the line shooting free throws. Reed fouls Dorman. And back to the free throw lane the other way we go. They made the first free throw. 20 in the game for Abby Dorman. She'll be back for another go next year. She's just a junior, 5'7". Scrapper, she's been on the floor all game long. After fouls and after loose balls, Karsten comes back on for her offensive prowess for Paonia. Also into the game for the first time is Morgan Hartigan, a freshman, 5'8", for Paonia. Second free throw, no good for Dorman. 63 to 51. The shot is taken. It's an air ball in the left corner, and the rebound pulled off by Mann. Mann is pushed and will go to the free throw line for the final time of her high school basketball career. Heidi Mann with four points in the quarter, 13 in the game, and it's 63 to 51. And it's over in Loveland. Marino hangs on and beats Simla. 71-70 in overtime. They take the third place trophy in class 1A. Free throw is up and good for Mann. Everybody off the bench for ECA. Hugs galore on the far side as Bruce Beers greets his starters. And the players that usually don't see the court, now on the court. Becca Sherman, number 22, is the free throw no good by Mann. Pulled off by Farnsworth, the senior for Peonia in her last game. Back the other way. The shot is on the way and it's no good and that is it. ECA, last year second place, this year third place. Two years to state and both years taking home some hardware. After trailing in the first half, first quarters, 11 to five, they turned up the pressure and end up winning 64 to 51. So ECA will take home the third place trophy here in class 2A with a 64-51 win over Paonia. The number one seed came into the tournament, Paonia did, lost yesterday to Lutheran, and now loses for the second time in two days. Tough way to end your season, losing twice, and they lose it 64 to 51. Carson Pfeiffer, as we'll go through some of the scoring and get ready for the boys game, which will be Resurrection Christian and Lutheran, and that'll be coming up shortly. So Paonia ends the year at 23 and three. Evangelical Christian is 24 and three for Coach Bruce Beers as they finish in third place. And their fans are going crazy on the far side. Good turnout by the folks from the Springs. Paonia fans also giving a hand to Scott Rinks and his club. Nothing to hold their no. head about low or anything. No. They are an outstanding club and they'll be back here again next year based on what we see talent wise. They've been here three times in the last four and there's the third place trophy handed the to ECA and the seniors will take it. Cole, Mann, Giving, and McIntyre. And they all have it wrapped around themselves, and now it's picture-taking time on the far side. Two, four, let's go through some of the scoring here as Heidi Mann with two, four, five, 14 in the game. Two, four, 21 in the game for Abby Dorman. Five in the game for Tory Mann. Sammy Bost has one. 13 in the game for Lindsay Gebbing. One in the game for Sammy Boss, as we said. Two in the game for Sarah Cole. Four in the game for Lily McIntyre. Four in the game for Chelsea Cole. So 21 points, the leading score is Abby Dorman. 14 for senior Heidi Mann, and most of those from the free throw line. In fact, 12 of those from the free throw line. Gonna bring over Abby, Abby Dorman and, and Heidi Mann and, and uh, have you congratulate them here, maybe, and uh, ask them a question. 
Congratulate them on a victory here. Abby Dorman and Heidi Mann coming over to talk with us here on Chassis.tv. Evangelical Christian second last year and third this year. And congratulations, Heidi. 14 points in the third place game. I'm sure you would have rather played in the championship game, but you'll take home another trophy, at least in your senior year, something to remember the year by. Talk about the victory for your ball club tonight. going into the second half, I mean, our team motto for this state tournament has been um, no reserve, no retreat, and no regret. So we came to that first half, we're like, oh no, what are we doing? So second half, we just went out and we enjoyed ourselves. We had fun playing together for the last time, and we don't have any regrets in this tournament. We had a great time. And, and that first quarter, you were down 11 to 5, and I remember Bruce calling a timeout. We both noticed it here. All three of us did. Bruce was red in the face. He was not happy with something. What kind of G-rated words or kind of G-rated language did he give you guys to get things turned around? Well, um, I mean, he said, we haven't played like this. We don't play like that. And he said, you know what, though? We've still got it. It's only six points. We just played the yeah. worst first quarter that we've ever played, and we're still right there. And we knew, yep, <laughs> we know how to play this game. We don't want to play like that. We're going to win this for Coach. So. And, Abby, you guys owned the second quarter, it seemed like, in the playoffs. You did against Los Animas when you blew them out with, like, six straight three-pointers. You guys came out on fire in the uh, second quarter here. You outscored them 22-9, to nine, and it was thanks to three-pointers. Talk about that second quarter and what got you guys going. I think the first quarter was definitely a wake-up call for us. I mean, like, like Heidi said, that was probably one of the worst quarters we played. And so uh, we just realized we needed to step it up, and uh, we hit those shots we know we can hit. You guys lived at the free throw line, too. I mean, most of your points, especially for you and Heidi, were from the free throw line, but that means you were taking the ball to the bucket, and that's kind of what you guys do. Yep. We love, we love driving. <laughs> so yeah. much fun. <laughs> how about the trophy? How much does that feel? Abby, you got another year left, but, mm -hmm. I mean, for Heidi and the seniors, how important is that for you to help them get that trophy? Oh, man, we, we wanted to win just so bad for this group of girls, for Coach. I mean, uh, it's not as much about the trophy as just going out, just finishing well, just playing hard, and um, it's just a great team. We love being together, and it's just it's fun to win together. No doubt about that. Congratulations, ladies. Third place in the state of Colorado in Class 2A. Thank you very much. Very good. Heidi Mann, Abby Dorman, two of the key components that gave ECA a third-place trophy to take home today and put up in Colorado Springs after finishing second last year. Final score, Evangelical Christian 64 and Paonia, the Lady Eagles 51. We'll take a break. We'll come back in a few minutes. Resurrection Christian against Lutheran in the boys' third place game. It's coming up next for you here at the Pueblo Event Center in the 2A state championships on Championship Saturday on Chasta.tv. Good job. Thanks. All right, we are off. Could you so are we going to do that from now on? Is that okay? That's fine. I just, I just, yeah, sorry about that. It hit me like, whoa, wait a minute here. So, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. We'll do it. We just thought the kid, obviously, from oh, the yeah. parents. and Absolutely. I agree. I agree 100%. Yeah, sorry. I didn't, didn't mean to throw that at you. That's all right. If 